In 2017, government granted the Komas Regional Council approval to link Khurd Aub to the city of Windhoek. One resident and landless people's movement grassroots commander in the region says the settlement had the chance to become the first village council in Komas, clearing the path for it to become a town of its own south of Windhoek. He argued that the city keeps taking settlements under its fold, such as Mix and now Khurd Aub, while failing to uplift settlements such as Havana and Okahanya Park in Karutura. If the if, if central governments provide money to, 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 to the regional councils, that money is our money. And that money can be spread evenly for development for Khurut Up as a village council. The city of Vinduk, if they have the 15 million, 50 million, that money can be utilized to, to formalize Havana faster. To formalize uh, uh, Axtelan and Siewendelan. You know, when you're talking about formalization, I believe there's going to be pre work, there's going to be uh, planning. So now, if you want to spend 50 million, what is, your, what, is, what is your processes in doing these things? So, at the end of the day, there should be a plan of action in place in order to provide that services. So, uh, it's not worthy to talk about uh, uh, formalization of settlements if you do not have a proper plan in place. So, saying Havana is there, uh, Okahanja Park is there, uh, Siewendeland is there, using, say, 20 million for one, have a proper structure, then move over to the other one. Then you know at least, you inform your communities we are busy, at least then they see there's, there's some action being taken. But now you want to shift it to Khurat Aub? I mean, 50 kilometers away, there's priorities there. The constituency councillor for Windhoek Rural, whose office is situated in the heart of Khurat Aub, stated that the regional council initially planned to turn the settlement into a village council but a law prohibited the governing body from proceeding in this direction. There is an act of parliament that have given um, the mandate of the boundaries of the city to be expanded. Before that, the Commerce Regional Council have basically applied already for Kroto to become a settlement. But this cannot happen because an act of parliament supersedes any other, you know, any other plan. Because in this time, we now directed to say that the boundary of the city is not in bad faith. It's not to say that, you know, it's not to, it's not to say that the village councillor is better than the city. It's all. Uh, a government structure. Khrut Aub is a community of about 5,000 inhabitants, some of whom are involved in farming activities, while the rest commute to the city for work. The councillor assured residents that Winduk does not intend to take over properties such as housing, but to bring about service delivery at the standard of a proper settlement.